The Airbus A320-200 is the same model plane that Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger safely landed in New York's Hudson River six years ago next month. Captain Sullenberger is now a CBS News aviation safety expert. He joins us from Reno. Uh, Sully, always good to see you. Uh, you have more than 5,000 hours experience in A320s. How does a pilot handle an emergency situation in a plane like this? It requires great team skills, Jeff, just as my crew and I and all the first responders handled that situation almost six years ago. It requires a well delineated series of roles and responsibilities, knowing which is the pilot flying, which is the pilot monitoring, cross checking and assisting. And in any situation in flight, it's important first to fly the airplane, fly it well, and then to begin troubleshooting in a step by step process to solve the problems. How do you maintain control of the plane when when weather really does become an issue? It requires making deviations horizontally or vertically in altitude when necessary to maintain a safe flight path. How often do you make requests like this, Ellie? Requesting deviations for weather avoidance is a routine matter that happens many times every day, often several times on a given flight. It's part of the business of keeping the risks manageable all through the flight from beginning and middle to end. So as we mentioned, you know, what appears to be the third major disaster in nine months for a Malaysian-based uh, airline. As they look forward and, and, and try to rescue and then also investigate, do you have thoughts on, on what the airline industry has gone through in this past year? These incidents are reminders that this is a complex system. We must make it robust and resilient. We must consider the human factor. We must have equipment designs that are appropriate, and we must give pilots the best tools we can to allow them to handle whatever may come. Captain Sully Sullenberger from Reno. Captain, thank you very much.